Building a custom WordPress website doesn't have to be complicated or expensive. With template kits, you can create beautiful, fully customizable WordPress sites without a single line of code. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced web designer, template kits make it easy to build the perfect WordPress site for your needs. In this video, I'll show you how to install template kits in WordPress for a professional website in minutes by using Seedprod. Seedprod is the best WordPress website builder for anyone who wants an easy way to create beautiful websites. It comes with a drag and drop editor that makes it simple to add content and it has a beginner friendly interface that makes it easy to get started. Seedprod has over 1 million happy customers so visit seedprod.com to learn more or click the link in the description below. So here I have a clean installation of WordPress and I installed this locally on my computer for this example. I also have seedprod.com open or you can click the link in the description below. We're going to click on get seed prod. I'm going to be using the pro version for this video. Once you have an account set up, I'm going to click on login. Let's enter your email address and password on the left hand side here and click on login. Next, we're going to click on downloads here. It's the tab second from the left. And we'll click on the big orange button here to download seed prod pro. We also want the license key here in the bottom left hand corner. So let's click the icon here to copy that to clipboard and we can close this tab. Next, back inside of the WordPress dashboard, we can see plugins on the left-hand side. Let's go to plugins and add new. And up top, we'll see upload plugin. Let's go ahead and click on this. And you can click on choose file to select that zip file from your hard drive that we just downloaded. Or if you're using the same or similar browser as I am, you can see the tab in the bottom here. I'm gonna click and drag this and drop it right here and click install now. Let's go ahead and activate the plugin. And then let's paste that license key that we copied earlier right here and verify key. If everything went well, you should see a green success message. I'm gonna close this tab at the bottom. Great, next it's time to choose a website kit. So there's two main sections in Seedprod that you'll spend most of your time. We have the landing pages here on the left-hand side and theme builder. So landing pages are to build single pages to use for your call to actions to either collect emails or make sales off to certain specials. For example, if it's Black Friday, you might wanna create a Black Friday special page and you can use that single page to promote those products. The theme builder on the other hand is to build a full WordPress website from scratch or use the website kits, which is what we're about to do. So if we open up the main page of our current WordPress website, we can see the default theme here. So let's come back and we'll click on theme builder here. And here we'll see a list of all of our template theme files. Right now we just have the global CSS since we haven't imported or created any. So this is the file where if you click edit design, you can control all of the colors, fonts, background buttons, forms, layout, and some custom CSS. On the right hand side here, this is just an example of what all of those CSS styles will look like. So for example, under colors, if I change my headers, all of these will be changed as well. Then you can go ahead and save those and that'll be applied across your whole website. I'm just gonna exit this and exit without saving. Next, let's click on the themes button here. If you wanted to create one from scratch, you can add new theme template yourself. We're gonna be doing the website kit. So let's click on themes. And here we can see a list of website kits that we can import. And Seabright comes with many clean designs for multiple business industries, such as cars and maintenance, mobile applications, e-commerce stores, professional services, restaurants and cafes, blogging and fashion, and much, much more and more to come as well in the near future. Let's go ahead and select one of these templates here that we can import. So here's a nice website kit. Let's go ahead and click the check mark here. This one's called Life Coach. Great, and there we go. Seaprod will now add the complete kit into your theme builder dashboard as a list of customizable template parts. Depending on the website kit you choose, it will include header and footer templates, homepage and blog templates, single page and post templates, and of course the global CSS here as well. Now, if you select a website kit that has additional pages, you can find those under pages and all pages, and they'll be listed here. We have a coaching versus therapy page right here. There's an about us, contact us, and services page. So if we come back to the theme builder, I just want to mention that these are template files and not single pages. For example, this single page template file is applied to all of the pages. Pages. So this will control, for example, the design and layout for your about page and your contact page and any other pages that you have. And that's why we set conditions here. So we have a home page. We set the condition to front page. So this will control the design and layout for that specific page. And we also have template parts. So for example, the header is applied on every part of the site, the entire site, as well as the footer. I just want to also mention that you can create your own website kits from scratch inside of Seedprod. And then you can use the import export feature here. So for example, create your website kit from scratch and then you can export the theme files here and then you can install Seedprod on another website and then use the import theme files feature to put that website kit into another website. So this is great for people who have clients and you wanna have a head start on designing your website. So maybe you do the same things over and over and over. This is a great way to save a little bit of time. Let's go back to the theme builder. 
And now we want to go ahead and look at enabling the seed prod theme. So we imported all of these files for the website kit, but if we refresh, you'll see that nothing really happened. We do have these extra pages here, but this is still used on the default WordPress theme. We need to toggle this right here in the top right corner to enable this. And this little message will pop up saying that's just setting your home and blog pages and your WordPress settings. You can find those under settings here. We can click OK and OK. And then when we refresh, we should see our website kit in action here. So we have our website kit header here. This is the header file. We can find that right here. And we can edit that design by clicking Edit Design. And we have our home page. That's the rest of the page that we see here with all of the different sections. And then at the bottom, we have our footer here. So here's the home page. We can click Edit Design to see that. And then, of course, our footer right here to see that. So you can see how they're broken down into different template parts that you can easily change and edit. Now, if this was an existing website, you'd probably want to edit all of the page and the colors and everything and finish your full website design before enabling it. So let's go ahead and look at how to customize your website kit. So for example, if we want to change our header, let's click edit design. This will open up the seed prod theme builder. We can see the drag and drop editor here. So we can hover over, we can see this new purple outline. This is a section inside of that. We have the blue outline where we can see the different columns and rows. And then we also have the orange and each orange is a block and the blocks can be found on the left hand side here. So we are on the left, we have template tags. We have WooCommerce. These are grayed out because we don't have WooCommerce installed, but it is compatible in the elite plan. We have the standard block. So for example, if you want a headline, you can just click and drag that in here and we have a new headline. You can easily delete that if you want to change your mind. Lots of different standard blocks, such as buttons, images, videos. We have advanced blocks. So you can do a giveaway, social sharing, image box, pricing tables, accordions, login forms, lots to choose from here. Here's some more WooCommerce blocks as well, such as checkout carts. This is to make your own add to cart checkout and cart pages as well as widgets we have all of these different widgets that we can put in and of course you can create your own block styles here and save those and reuse them in multiple places on your website so for example if you wanted to change your header so for example if you want to change your logo you could simply click here and it's just a simple image so you can click here and you can upload your own image here you'd select a file select the logo and then you would just simply import that so for example, we have another image here called Rogue. Let's pretend this is a logo. We'll select this. And now you can see that that is imported into our page. And then we have our menu here. We have some social buttons and we have our search. So if I click on here, you can see this cog wheel. This is the block settings and it'll update on the left hand side. And each block is different depending on what it is. So here's the search. So this will be search related options that you can modify. So for example, the menu, let's go ahead here and we can change the font size. Maybe you want it a little bit smaller and sleek. We can go ahead and change that. And you can add maybe more space in between to make it a little bit more elegant looking. You can also add, for example, a divider. So I could put a pipe delimiter here and you can change the alignment if you wish. Maybe you want something different. I'll keep that centered though for now. You can change the order of the different elements here if you like. Maybe you want this at the end. You can add new elements or delete. And we have advanced options here. Now all blocks have advanced options as well. So make sure to check those out. This one has a list layout. So if you want a vertical list, you could change that. Let's leave it at horizontal. You can change the topography, which is the fonts and the text colors, sub menu colors, text shadow spacing, lots of different options here. So once you're happy with all of the changes, you just go ahead and save this. And we can X out here to go back to the theme builder theme template pages. Now we can see the update on our website kit. We can see the logo here in our menu. Let's refresh the page here. We can see the updates that we just made. Great, so now if you wanted to edit, for example, the rest of your homepage, you just come back. We have our homepage here, click Edit Design. You can see our header template is located here, but we actually can't edit this in here. We can only edit the homepage section. You can see how this has a green header template around it. You can click this to edit that header you can go to that page but for now we want to check out the rest of this page and that's the same thing for the footer as well this is a separate template so you can see how it has that green outline so you just do the same thing with your home page you have the different text here you could update the text update the buttons if you like we have an image here that you could select so maybe you want to delete this and you can use your own image or even a stock image well just type in meditate and we can do a search here and we can actually see that picture there let's go ahead i'll find a different one here there this one looks good. You can change the size, the alignment. You can link it if you wish. And then we have different templates. This is image templates. So if you want to add, for example, a drop shadow, this is just a quick way to do that. And of course we have the advanced options here for the different shadows, image border spacing, attributes and device visibility. So again, you just go all the way down your page and just change all the different elements. It's very easy. You just click on an element, whatever you want to change, update it on the left-hand side, and then go ahead and save everything when you're happy with it. Go ahead and X out of here. And we can see that there's also a contact page and we have an about page. 
And now these actually use the same template. So if we see here, it's a single page, but you'll notice that the pages look a little bit different. So here's the contact and here's the about. To edit those specific pages, we can go over to pages and all pages. And then for example, the about us, we can go ahead and edit with seed prod. And then this will open this page here where you can edit this specific one. So again, here's a picture. We can delete this and find another one. There we go, we can import that. Go under advanced image border and we can get that border radius. Maybe we can make that a little bit more round. And there we go, you can go ahead and save that and X out of here. So if we refresh our About Us page, you can see the changes that we've made. Again, you just continue down the page to do so. And there you go, that's how easy it is to import a website kit and to modify your header, your footer, your homepage, your blog pages, your single post pages, single pages, sidebars, and more. As well as your normal pages here, which you can completely customize and you have full control over as well. And don't forget that SeedProd is fully compatible with WooCommerce as well. Now that you know how to install template kits in WordPress step by step, maybe you would be interested in this video on how to create a WordPress theme from scratch by building an Instagram profile page clone. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.